So yesterday the new Rayman adventure here released and I thought my map was bugging out for a hot second but it's just the static of that screen and Rabbit Peach is missing a whole bunch of health. But I didn't have a whole lot of time to do it because I had to wake up early the following morning. But I have some more time today. So let, assuming I can stay awake, it's uh, I was a little bit tired today as I thought after the last stream where it's like, you know, wake up early, not gonna be getting a full sleep after shooting that. I was a little bit tired today. So we'll see if my body wants to conk out early. But for now, I do not remember which door is which, like which is what theme. I think I remember that. Oh, okay. So that's Wild West. That one, I think I remember the left one is Pirates over there. Yeah, it must be. And then this one is what, Medieval? Because I think the last one was Medieval there, probably. I don't remember. Yeah, screw it. Let's go do it. <laughs> Let's go do whatever this one is. Sure. Also, it occurred to me after I did the last stream that. Hold on, let me adjust my camera like this. There we go, that's a little bit more satisfying. And then up so the table's out of the way and then you don't see any of the monitor and stuff. I mean, it's not like there's anything bad on, it's just the stream manager. You know, it's just, you know, OBS and stuff. But it just seems weird there being like an edge of monitor on screen, so, yeah. So what is going on over here? Anyway, it occurred to me after the last stream, uh, after I got up and Noah saw the uh, particles over like my hat and clothes and stuff like that, like, oh, I don't think that anything, you know, that small and fine would have been noticeable on camera, but in case it was, that was sawdust <laughs> from making the uh, little house cap planter thingamabob the other day. So I need to find a thing there. Um, should I? Why did I agree to this help? Should I just do whatever's going on here? Movie director. Uh, nothing works around here. Can't film a movie in the dark. And there's probably still some trace amounts of sawdust. <laughs> Cage, elimination chamber, ring of fire. I like the phantom logo in the middle there. <laughs> That's what we need to see. Wait, I recognize this ring. It must be for Spit Bucket Boy 3. The first two were hilarious. <laughs> hey, if you're a fan, maybe you'll help us finish on time? It's too dark in the ring, but I can't figure out how to turn the lights on. So I need to go do that somewhere around here. Yeah, there's more stuff that I recognize from, uh, from the first game. Please get the lights working. We're way behind schedule. Wait, so how do I progress the main story though? Like I knew that this was a spark quest when I accepted it obviously, but uh, you know, this does not look like a medieval area or anything. Maybe it leads to it. Yeah, so none are the ones that I can just punch. Oh, guess there's bugs just chilling around. Huh? Oh, coins and stuff. Okay, I guess I'll grab some. I don't need them all. Um. Also, a little bit of disclosure, I might have to randomly get to my 3D printer sometime in the middle of the stream. So, earlier today, before I went to work, I started printing a uh, new little seed starter planter thingamabob that I have one of them currently growing Hascat plants in. But I have a whole bunch of, like, seeds for my travels around this past month. I don't think I mentioned that during the last stream. I don't think I've streamed this game in a little while. Um, like, this whole past month of August, I've been traveling all over the place and going on quite the adventure. And during that, I gathered a decent few fun kind of seeds of things I want to try and grow. But I'm going to need a new planter to start that. So I started printing the base, which is like a seven or eight hour print there. And uh, I got home and it just completely messed up the axes and there was filament everywhere. There's still filament all over my carpet in that corner over there. <laughs> a little bit of plastic. Um, and I didn't actually have enough black filament to uh, do another like full black one. So I went into my 3D printing software or my 3D printing like instruction software. And I was like, all right, how about this? How about you print in black up to here and then you color change at like this certain level that is like where I should fill up water to. And uh, so I think it's at like, yeah, it's at like 50% done what it's doing with black because I should have enough filament for that. But then I'm going to have to like color change it to something else. So that'll probably happen while I'm in the middle of streaming. And I didn't want to wait for that to finish before I started streaming because, you know, it'll probably still be over an hour before that happens. So do I go over to here? What do I do? Hawa? I'm a little bit confused. So if I randomly look over into the corner, it's like, oh, sorry, I got to take this. It's me changing out filaments on my 3D printer to make up for the fact that I need to now do a two color print because I don't have enough of my one color left after... 
that little fiasco there, so I can't go over that way. Um, except I do now, because after I started that print, I got my new filament that I ordered in the mail that's currently sitting on my bed. Box full of a whole bunch of three printing filament that I'm going to have to find places for. Where the heck? Ready to fly. I'm a tad confused. I don't think I could make it over there, could I? Probably. Mmm. I don't know. Yeah, I'm definitely not making it over. And this jump pad is clearly for that. Maybe these need a turn in some way later? Or, I mean, what is this? Oh, I can just interact with it right now. Okay. Oh, I can control it. Ooh, that's loud. Okay. That is a lot louder than I thought it would be. So, like... Yeah, the one pad was here. I get you. Okay, I get you now. So, I can progress. Okay, because I can go this way. I got you. There we go. Sweet. Do, do I want to do more side quests right now? Our next caller says she's been doom shamed by her past at work. Hello, are you there? Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, it appears that Madame Burastrela's dimensional drift departure has some surprise guests. Due to a nasty network lawsuit, episodes of commercial free combat will not grow your viewership. So, are you in or out? I... I'm honestly trying to find out how I can progress the main quest right now. I thought I was on track to that, but it doesn't look like I am. Really? Wait, it says right now specifically to reach the western set, so maybe there is an order. I didn't even notice that before. I mean, maybe more of this would unlock if I did that. But, you know, I was doing side stuff at the end of last stream. I do actually want to see some of the main story stuff in this. Where the heck did Rapid Mario go? Oh, there he is. He's just, he's just catching up. He's just taking things at his own pace. And yeah, I won't be able to interact with that until I take out the eye. I gotcha. Yeah, I recognize these props now. I do recognize a lot of them. Oh, this is the one that, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it was that one from the second world that uh, you see the backside of when you're starting that level as like water's flowing out of the coconut, but you don't know that he's holding a coconut drink. So it just looks like he's pissing a waterfall, but then you see the other side and you see that uh, it's a stupid coconut drink. Man, <laughs> these games are so dumb. I love them. They're great. So I guess I'll reach the western set then. I was I was just lollygagging over this way for a little bit. Don't mind me. But yeah, that was uh that was one of the funniest things in my opinion, <laughs> just because it's like, you see the perspective, the right perspective of what it actually is. I was like, oh, okay, sure. Oh, that would be medieval set. So that's just okay. So that's just some other thing. I was about to say it didn't add up, and I thought there was one thing in like each direction. That's just. Some other stuff, I guess. All right, let's go to the Western set because apparently that's where the game wants me to go. Took a we took the scenic route over here, but that's fine. Last time I would have seen Rayman on a Western set would have probably been in like one of the Rayman Raving Rabbids mini games, probably shooting plungers at a bunch of rabbits. Is that what I'm gonna have to do here? Oh no, it's just like a punch symbol. <laughs> I was about to say, is it like shooting those targets? Welcome to the Ballad of Plunger Hat McMurdy, the story of romance, mystery, vengeance, loss, rebirth, and, uh, toilet humor. Cretin. One has to make concessions to one's audience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Victor, people are always telling me my mustache is so last century. One small thing, our Wild West set has been infested with the agents of darkness and action. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Agents of darkness have infested what now? Take five. Also, the wooden cutouts we use for bandits, you'll need to punch those. Our audience loves punching. 
And of course, each episode ends with a climactic battle with Iron Hands, Sydney Rabidwacker. Should you scream in agony, please try to look at camera three while doing so. Action! All right, I guess we're on this set now. Uh, that's not good. That's not a great thing to be coming in. Hopefully everything's going to be A-OK -okay over there. Got to figure out how to get to that secret turder stuff. All right. So, paunch. Yeah, the audience totally loves that, right? Probably. Hi. I'm bad to nothing but a bunch of owl hoots. You ought to take them for on a ride to Fist City. Whoops. Paunch. Is this a box that I can break behind the barrel? Nope, sure isn't. So... I was about to say, is it one of those ones where I need to get both at once? But apparently not. Okay, here I gotta charge up and stuff. This is what I better do. Okay. Will something happen if I get all of them, maybe? Find 11 fifth floor, Scott Neighbors. You could use as wraps in the worst case scenario. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. Uh. So... I mean, do I actually want to chill up here? Maybe I'll come up here again later? Or... Man, they're not gonna rob the bank yet, are they? I just deposited my lottery winnings. All right, so I am gonna have to do some stuff up here, I think, probably. Probably. What the heck is this? Oh, it's an item. It's the immunity charm, apparently. Maybe I have to take out all the bandits to progress? Wait, what about this guy? Oh, I can just break that. Okay, cool. So a thing happens now? I did the thing? Wow. And then we have the battle. I love how all this set is like cardboard. I feel like I'm playing Paper Mario. Slap leather, you sandwinded, dry, gulchin, lunk headed, mangy, no good, yellow bellied, bellow, board, board and pole cat. My goodness, what is this? The opening mission of the pirate area in Sly 3? Was that the freaking Assassin's Creed Eagle sound effect? Uh, line? <laughs> like, really? <laughs> it was the same sound effect, I swear. And, you know, made by the same company after all, but like, it's a rabbit whacker here to wreck vengeance for us to die his whitewater rafting permit. <laughs> but hello, hello is a sandwich. I won't be able to check that out right now, but, uh, oh, dang it. I'm busy taking on rabid side winder, whatever the heck, uh, rabid whacker. I don't know, man. Whoever the heck this guy is. I got a showdown here at high noon that I need to attend to and all that. And the battle will load here in a hot second. Boasting bravados, huh? Defeat bravados. Okay. <laughs> so that's their names, I guess. Huh. Meet the Bravados! Hired for their authenticity, they will seek to destroy you with gust-based attacks. Okay. According to the script, you will need to defeat all three of them. Predictable, but what can you do? Be warned, the Bravados seek to drought every scene they are in. They will counterattack as often as they can. Okay. Um, do I really need heals though? Probably not. Now I'm just rolling every R instinctively. Um, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Let's see here. So I do kind of like that one. I mean, this isn't a half bad setup here. This might be really silly to use on one of them. <laughs> you know, it might honestly be. I don't know if I really need the shield guy while I have Rabbit Peach out here, especially if I have like a double. Oh yeah. I can get everyone up to level two here and stuff. But yeah. Um <laughs> what would about? Yeah. And I'll we'll lock that level cap later. Wait, hold on. Increase wait. Increase all movability damage by 15%. Confuse one random enemy within range. Confuse enemy will attack its allies. But if, oh, I was about to say, like, am I just boosting the chance of it happening? Is it not a guarantee? But this is a chance of like a small chance of getting two. I see. I see. Interesting. 
Okay. Yeah, let's try this. Let's give it a go. Let's go. Yeah. So try to do it in four turns, huh? And there's some dudos out here. <laughs> yeah, I quite like the set here. So I should blow up some of that stuff, right? So I should probably do. Oh, so I can sneak around back and stuff. To get them to them all sneaky like. Because this will lead there. Wait, how the heck would I get up here? Huh. So yeah, maybe I would team jump Rabbit Mario up there. Well, I mean, it makes perfect sense when you consider that Rayman is the reason why rabbits exist in the first place. You know? Um, hmm. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, Rayman can jump across if he so chooses. Does have the option. So yeah, maybe we'll go around the right side here and see what we can make of it. <laughs> I love the music here. Um... Okay, I was like, what's that tiny little notch there? But if we go here... And then... Yeah, if I just do that, then I can make it into the pipe. And would Rabbit Mario be able to team jump in? Oh, he sure would! That's awesome! Maybe I create Rabbids? Well, the first Rabbids game was a Rayman game. Was the thing. They made a Rayman spin-off, Rayman Raving Rabbids, and they were like, Hey, let's, uh... You know, let's create this new kind of creatures to have in this game of mini games for Rayman. And they created the Rabbids, and then the Rabbids went on to get more games, and Rayman, not so much. Um, <laughs> he has had some games since then, but you know, Rabbids have had a whole lot more. So now, you know, <laughs> Rayman having essentially been the one responsible for the Rabbids being an IP, um, now they're returning the favor with, you know, Rayman getting his first adventure in over 10 years, you know. Just paying it forward here. Okay. And then... I thought I heard my printer finishing, so you'll randomly see me looking into that corner sometimes. Um, and stuff. Playing that on Game... There was a Game Boy version? That was... <laughs> Did it release alongside the main game? Because that is not the original main thing. Like, I have the console one. I can probably grab it. Hold on. I'm gonna have to pull up some stuff from my shelf. Hold on. Let's see here. Where is my copy? There it is. Yeah, so the very first Rabbids title was, uh, was Rayman Raving Rabbids, which looked like this here. I mean, I could go to, uh, I could go to full cam here. Oh, yeah, and set to have that on here for some reason. I can just turn that off. Uh, at the 3D printing cam there. Yeah, Rayman Raving Rabbids. There it was. I was thinking about playing it before this came out. But yeah, um, what does this say here? Save Rayman from Bunnies Gone Bad. Because the Rabbids weren't an established thing at that point. This is the first title they were in. So they're just Bunnies Gone Bad, I guess. Um, play over 70 quirky games, throw cows, milk pigs, run race on animals, and more. Get wacky with friends and frantic contests and up to four players. And get Wait, this one was multiplayer? I thought it was only two that was multiplayer. Engage in toilet plunges shooting action against the nasty rabbit invaders. And then, like, this one had, like, a semi-plot of Rayman just having to escape the rabbits. Rayman Raving Rabbids 2, on the other hand, was just, like, a game of mini-games that designed to be a party game. And I have that, too. And, you know, I remember playing it a little bit back when and stuff. So, uh... Yeah, there was a uh, there was that travel the globe in the craziest party game ever, and there was a uh, there was that. Oh, so what does this say? Game in English and French. Oh, uh, battle friends in four player mini games. Unleash your creativity and make your own outrageous rabbit. Rock out with rabbits band. Shoot plungers to stop the rabbits in real locations around the world. I very faintly remember this. It has been so long. My goodness. You know, sometimes when a new game comes out, I'll sometimes, like, set it up here or something like that. How about I just set up, you know, these? You'll see a little bit of the corner of my desk here, but whatever. Here. Hopefully it doesn't make the view unsatisfying or anything. Here. Look, we can just set up these two. I still have the discs in them as well. There they are. 
Rayman Raving Rabbids. You can't even tell on that tiny cam what games they are. You can just see that there's games there. I'm pulling this blanket over my legs again because I'm freezing. Um, but yeah, yeah, I had it on the Wii. I think that it released on the GameCube as well. I think I could be wrong, but I never owned a GameCube, but I owned a Wii. So there was a, there was that. But yeah, it was a 2D side-scrolling platformer. I wonder if it released alongside those or what it was. But yeah, remember a Rabbids game on the Game Boy Advance? I mean, sometimes, you know, companies would release like multiple games of the same name on different consoles to, you know, get across to these different consoles. Now I'm just rolling every R, my goodness gracious. Um, can I? Oh my goodness, I can. Like, for example, I, uh, I was chatting with this one friend of mine when he was preparing to graduate university, and I asked him if he had any plans for the summer. And he was like, oh, I'm gonna play the, uh, I'm gonna play the Spongebob movie game, because I tried to beat it as a kid, but I never could. So maybe as an adult, like, maybe now I'll finally try it again and see if I can, uh, see if I can beat it. And I was like, what? No way! I played it as a kid, but I never beat it too! Maybe we should play it together and like we started making plans to play it together that still haven't happened because schedules have been all over the place and stuff but anyway when we were planning this out i uh i was getting stuff sorted out and i was like all right so how are we gonna play this do you still have the original disc because i can't find mine he was like yeah i still have the original disc and i was like oh cool we can just pop that into my pc and then we can play it together there it was like pc i play it on the gamecube i was like what so i looked it up and apparently there are three video games called the SpongeBob movie game. There was the one for consoles like GameCube and PlayStation 2 that used the same engine as Battle for Bikini Bottom, which were 3D platformers. There was the PC version that I played, uh, where he played the home console one. And the PC version was a point and click adventure game in the style of, you know, the other SpongeBob PC games of around that time, which I also played a bunch of. And then there was a Game Boy Advance game, which was a 2D platformer. And a couple of years later, like just this last winter at this uh, get together from my old uh, German bilingual group, I was chatting with another friend there about that. He was like, and I mentioned that there was the three versions that we found out about. And he was like the Game Boy Advance one. I think I played that, but I never beat it though. I was like, what? No way. So we started trying to organize with the three of us to play the three different SpongeBob movie games, but like we still haven't figured a thing out. But man, it would be so funny if we uh, could come together to play the three different games that are all just called the SpongeBob movie game and yet are completely different video games apart from, I guess, their plots being the same or something like that. Say bye. I don't know. What can I really do from here? Should I? um? I could put down some splody things. Sure, I'm doing it. But yeah, accelerate order Bravely Default 2, what should you do? Cancel it and order the soundtrack of Bravely Default 2 instead. <laughs> use those funds to do that. Much better use of buddies. Okay, sure, let's just do this. And maybe I'll do the rocket thing with Bob. But yeah, you're half right, there's a Game Boy and DS version that's different from the console. So yeah, just like a SpongeBob movie game situation then. So... Yeah, so... Can I just like... Oh, will this go up here? Oh, oh, cool, it will. Oh! Interesting. Interesting! Well, they're down there now. Can they use these pipes to climb back up? Oh, I guess, and then they'll be back there. Yeah, it comes tomorrow and you're panicking. <laughs> Apparently the doggy wants to come down here, so maybe I'll go and grab her in a sec here. Let me just... Should I chill out here? I mean, where should I be? Is the question of the day. Should I just chill here? Maybe. Um, of curiosity. Okay, so that's not really worth doing. I can do... This. I can summon the uh, other one to heal the rest of the way, but I don't think it matters. Sure. And I'll just... I don't know, man. I don't know. Pass the turn. I'll be back.
I miss? Did I die? Oh, no, the turn still isn't over here yet. Hi, Jesse. Hi, sweet doggie. Hi. <laughs> Alright, well. Yeah, that was a nice BRB then. Um, did Rabbit Peach take some more damage? Rayman definitely took some. Is that just explosion there or something? Um. Wah. Doggy. Um. So like, there's two up there. One of them went over here now. Hold on. I'm not gonna get back my original movement if I go over there, am I? I mean, it might be fine anyway. Maybe. Here. So if I land like here, yeah, that will affect him. Should I put down some bouncy turrets, maybe? Let's see. I can still put down regular turrets and then shoot him. I don't really need to hit the uh, thing Bob there with a bouncy shot. If I do, well, I'll splash you away anyway. As a thing, so I don't really need to use the bouncy turrets, I don't think. Here, let's do this. The plunger guard. The plunger's just like he's using in the box art of that there. Let's see here. Yeah, so let's just like do this. And then if we say did this. Yeah. Neat. Oh man, I was hoping that one would attack the guy that I launched. Oh well. Uh so this'll lead. Oh yeah, that'll lead over there. Okay, I see. I'll just throw this over here for now. Where can Rabbit Mario move? He can move all the way over here, which is really nice. Of curiosity, could I finish that guy off? I could. Just gonna keep an eye on, make sure that my print isn't screwing up over there. Here, let's look at me options. So let's have a look-see over here. Let's see what's going on over this way, huh? And then, maybe I should use the uh, hypnotize thing. I don't think I'm gonna be quite close enough for this. Oh, what affect you? Oh, a shield went up at one point there. Yeah, maybe that. And then, you know, the shield will go away and then I'll try to wreck these guys next turn or something or other. Maybe. Hold on. Hold on. I'm bringing that turret over here. Yoink. Taking this with me. It is valuable. So like... Yeah. Well, I don't need to win immediately on the next turn. Like the turn after that I'll do too. Hmm. If I team jump over there... And then hypnotize and like counter or something like that. Counter guard. Hmm, this would have been a good turn to have the shield, wouldn't it? I'm summoning the dudo. Come on out here. And yeah, do this for the safety of normal rabbit peach. Ah. So, sure, do that. 
Oh yeah. I forgot the explosion there. <laughs> um So if I just chill like here. Yeah, I don't think I have much reason to explode the barrels there. If only that guy was right beside the barrels, huh? If only. Yeah, I can still team jump here, though. Which means... That I can do this. Wait, I wonder. Oh, I can just finish off this guy this way. Can I reach his friend? Oh, I'm so close, though. I'm so close to being able to reach his friend. Wait, can I move after combat yet? I don't actually think I've unlocked that ability, so I should hypnotize first. Right. So if I go here, then I should guarantee... I'm not going to bank on the 25%. Guarantee that I hypnotize this guy, right? Let's try it. There we go. And then I go this way. Then. We go here. I'll eat a couple hits. Wait. Okay, I'm not in range of that. Good. So just punch this guy. Alright. Cool. And then, like, I'll receive some damage, but I'll reduce it here. All right, so that just goes to there. Sure. Give it a go. Yeah, that guy's gonna jump on me. Sure. Do that. All right. So this guy is... Yeah, but you resist Gust. That didn't actually help me all that much. You weirdo. Ooh. <laughs> but now will Rabbit Mario be able to make it back? Wow, you're dumb. Okay. As long as you're not healing the main guys that I gotta kill. Okay. Kinda hoping that you damage the guy that I hypnotized. Does it only last for one turn? Ow. Okay, I wonder how it works. Hmm. Can see? Ouch. Ow. Okay. So when in two more turns. Oh man. I can get through this pipe though. Be able to get through anything over there. Rabbit Mario cannot quite make it. But if I just like. Yeah, so the hypnotize only seems to last for the one turn. Yeah, I could have Rabbit Mario team jump over. The other two are there. And then. Yeah. Maybe Rayman. Come over here. Will I be able to get him to a uh, pipe over there? Do I even need to, though? I might not need to. Hold on. Hold on. <coughs> Too bad I'm allergic to holding on. Hi, Jess. Relax. Because I can do a thing. You know? Because if I do a thing... I won't get that one far guy. I will get one of these guys at least. Okay. I'm doing this. Because... Then, if I just, like, did this, I 
so maybe I won't get Rabbit Mario through there after all. Because I might rather him chill out here. And we just... I'll probably be a little bit safer on this side. The dash. And then... Ah, yeah, the barrel. Hmm. Well, then I'm out of range for it. Yeah, let's just go here for now. And yeah, this should kill all of them, so I don't need to put down the turrets right now. Okay. There we go. Oh. What? 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 Well, okay then. Uh. Yeah, okay. I'm putting these down. And I'm gonna try to bounce them into out of bounds. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, just toss him. Give him a chuck. Let's see here. Because if I just say... Oh. Had this here. And then, because I still have my dash. I do still have it. So grab this. Head through here. And maybe have the other one here-ish too. There we go. And then we do this. Like that. There we go. If I don't have another dash I can do. Maybe when he moves, maybe he'll be launched into the abyss though. Is a thing that might just happen. Maybe I should just get kind of far from him. Ish here. Do what damage I can. And then maybe he'll die when he gets launched into the abyss. Oh yeah. They have counter shots. <laughs> oh, I didn't kill him. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Such a big brain play though. Hello, hello, Lionheart. The trip was pretty good there. We had a good time at both the family's late cabin and at Fragapalooza. It was a chill time and then trip continued with a friend of mine from Germany where he went to this nice lake by the mountains as well as uh, to Vancouver Island. That was fun there. I, yeah, I guess I'll just chill here. Now I'm back home again, getting into the full swing of things with work, and then starting university again soon, and there we go. Neat. I love all the supports for the set at the bottom there. All right. Sweet. I feel good. Cool. All right. Well, did it one turn earlier than I needed to for the gold. Is Doki around the corner? Yeah. She seems like she doesn't know if she wants to settle down here or if she wants to go upstairs. Look at that. Amazing. Gold gramophone. Cool. I guess. You don't want to relax over here? Can I bribe you with a doggy treat? Maybe. There's one of these peanut buttery ones that I know you like. Can I bribe you with a treat? Maybe. Yeah, bedtime, Jess. It's time to take it easy. Put that away on the shelf. There we go. Neat. Level clear. Oh, and then it's the this part. So not quite out of the battle yet. Critics said we couldn't exceed the viewership of the average bird feeder of the camera's live stream. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I don't need to play again. Alright, well that was an interesting level, wasn't it? was interesting.